Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Lady of Huntington. Today I thought I'd do a recipe that I have done a couple of times probably before. It is one of Simon's favourites and he has asked me numerous times if I could make Amish white bread again. So I thought, even though I have done a video on this in the past, it may be time to do it again. There's a lot of people out there that love making bread and there's a lot of people out there who don't know how to make bread. So given our current situation with things and those of us who are trying to be a little bit more frugal and not going out as much, hey, you've probably got a lot of this stuff in your um, pantry that you can make your own bread. I suggest you give it a try. It's easy as all get out. It is delicious. It's one of those breads you're gonna come back to time and time again and your family is going to love. Come with me and let's give it a go. Okay, so to make our Amish white bread, I've popped on my dough hook here on my KitchenAid, as you can see. I've got a nice clear bowl on so you can actually see what's going on. So what we need in our Amish white bread, the ingredients are two cups of warm water, two thirds of a cup of sugar, one and a half tablespoons of yeast, one and a half teaspoons of salt, a quarter of a cup of oil, and five to six cups of flour. I'm just going to read to you the ingredients. Oh, not the ingredients, I've just done that. So what we need to do is combine the water and sugar until the sugar is dissolved. So we'll put in our two cups of warm water. Sorry, I think I'm losing my voice every now and then. <laughs> so two cups. Um, oh, looks like we've got two in here. Yes. Two cups of warm water. And we're going to add our sugar and let it dissolve. And before we do anything else, I'll put our sugar sorry guys okay so then we're just going to dissolve the sugar into the uh, warm water the sugar helps activate the yeast which is why we use sugar when we're working with yeast as well so here's our yeast it's just dried yeast I'm not using the bigger container of it that I actually have because I found a lot of the bread I was using was not working out. So we want one and a half tablespoons. So I reckon if we use two of those, one. That will make a bit under, and if I put this in, that would make roughly about one and a half tablespoons of yeast. Now we just need to let that sit for five to ten minutes until it goes bubbly or frothy on the top. Okay, so now it's started to go bubbly, we can add in the other ingredients. So one quarter of a cup of oil and then five to six cups of flour. So with this, I'll put our salt in as well. So we want one and a half teaspoons of salt. So add in one and a half teaspoons of salt. Of salt. Okay, so now we'll start putting our flour in. One, two, three. We'll pop that down. Start putting that together.
you'll know once it's actually coming together properly that it starts to actually clean the sides of the bowl and pull itself away from the sides of the bowl and hang on, hang on to the actual um, hook here. If you need to stop it every now and then just to um, bring a spatula and rub around the sides to ensure that that flour has gone down, you can do that also. take a little bit to bring it together but there's nothing better than homemade bread Just a little bit more. Right, now it's not too bad we can probably work with this and we'll what we need to do is allow it to actually rise to double its size this is my husband's favorite bread i do enjoy making bread but i've got to be in the mood for it <laughs> like most things i guess all right, let's take that off there. Move that to the side. Right, that's fine. So what we're going to do is pop our lid back on it. Never start cooking without washing your hands. Okay, so I'm just going to, this bowl is so heavy. Right. Now all I'm going to do is leave that. That part should have been under there. There we go, a bit better leave that now it's very warm here today so i'm not going to need to turn the oven or anything on i'm going to leave that and check on it periodically until it doubles in size which will be about an hour okay well you can see our dough has risen to yeah you know, probably more than double the size it was when we actually put it in there so what I'm wanting to do with the bread today is make rolls. I have loaf tins I can put it into also, but I'm not wanting to make loaf. 
I'm just wanting to do some rolls with this today. So I'm going to do that. But what I need to do first is to get a board out and some flour. Um, probably should have got my big one out. <laughs> Anyhow. Pull that out. Oh, that's beautiful. So soft. Oh, this is beautiful. Righty ho. So, whoops, there we go. Now you can see. So, what I want to do is just pinch it. We're not banging that down or anything like that. This has to rise again. So, and I'm making my my rolls. I pinch a piece off. Try and make them all similar size because you want them all to cook evenly. As I say, we're not wanting to play with it too much. You could do whatever you wanted with it. This is just what I'm wanting to do. And it's already starting to rise. Move you over there, move you over there so you can see. Sit them close together. Pitch it off. Oops. Just want a bit of a nice smooth shape on the top that down then they're going to sit there until they rise so as i say it's very warm i'm going to grab out the loaf tin okay i've grabbed our loaf tin just going to give it a spray We have the lids for these, so you can make the sandwich loaf. Oh. So all we're going to do, we're not going to knead it. We're just going to make a bit of a log shape. Oops. Move this out of the way. And then tuck it down in there. As I say, it's going to be a, a smaller one. That's fine. Alrighty, we'll leave that there. We'll put the lid on. And we'll check it in a little bit. And then we will be ready to bake them. Okay guys, these are now going into the oven. They have risen again, so time to pop them in there and we'll come back and have a look once we get them out. Well, as you can see, the rolls are out. They um, sound wonderful inside, nicely cooked, obviously. They're a little bit too hot to open up at the moment, but I'll show you once that's done. The bread is actually in at the moment cooking. So I didn't want to put both in together because I just didn't. <laughs> Anyhow, I will bring you back and show you, as I say, once they cool down. Okay, so I've popped them onto a wire rack so they don't sweat on the bottom. I've got myself one because you know hot bread you cannot resist and it is lunchtime so look at that absolutely beautiful so i like butter on mine i'm not one for a lot of different spreads or anything like that so let's give it a little bit of butter on here and give it a try. Nothing better than fresh bread straight out of the oven. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. 
absolutely delicious guys if you haven't tried amish white bread before i suggest you give it a try especially if you like making bread you can't really go wrong with this recipe it is delicious your kids will love it we well i made it one day when i had our family here it was demolished before anything else <laughs> anyhow guys do your best and nothing less and i shall talk to you very soon